Hello, how's everyone? Mike, is there an aspect of Jeff Blaschel coach teams in terms of compete level that will push you guys to be better here tonight? Well, for sure, they're playing real well <laughs> defensively. They're not scoring or haven't scored, but they're playing real well defensively and they're competing hard. And uh, you know, I, I think uh, they've done a good job. Now, uh, to me, you got to generate some offense, and, and they haven't scored, so that makes it harder for them. But uh, you know, in all the games in the pre scouts, they've worked real hard. What have you noticed about James Van Riemsdyk? Obviously, he's getting a bunch of bounces right now, but eight goals in five games. What, where have you seen his game elevate? Well, I just think his five-on-five play is way better. His power play is always, you know, elite. His five-on-five, he's skating better, he's jumping, he's on pucks. So is that because he's scoring and feeling better and going there, or is that because uh, the trade deadline's over and he doesn't have to worry about all that crap and he can just get on with playing? I don't know the answer to those questions. I just know he's good. I know you got a lot on your plate, but how much do you keep an eye on your old, your old team? And like well, well, Smitty's from Windsor, and he's a lifelong Red Wing fan, so I get the scoop every morning on him. Uh, but uh, you know, obviously, I, uh, you know, I know Blash, I know Ken Holland, I know the people. So you, uh, you know, you cheer for them when they're not playing you. You speak a little bit about what you really like about Roman Pollock and the way he's come back and been so effective for you on the kind of like the special. Well, it was the other night on the bench when he ran over one of their best players, DJ Smith said to me, what's the course he rating for that? <laughs> what have you liked about Morgan and Mitch's catalyst for your power play? Well, I just think, uh, you know, obviously Mitch's got a real good vision and a real good player, and it's hard to know what he's going to do next. And so I think uh, that makes them real key for everyone else and gives everyone else opportunities. Obviously, Morgan is an elite skater and passes the puck real well. And he's got the real good sifter from the top, gets it away in a hurry. And so that gives us lots of options out there. Mike, what do you see as the advantages of being able to roll your lines? You mentioned in Nashville that you just kind of threw them out one after another. Well, I think it's, you don't have to hide anybody. And you can play less minutes for everybody. And you can play harder and faster. And so we're trying to play as fast as we possibly can. We still think there's another level we can get to. And that's what we try to preach every day. And in order to do that, you got to have short shifts and you got to have lots of people. Just going back to Van Riemsdyk for a second. If you were, what would you tell that prospect to maybe look at with him as far as close range effectiveness? Yeah, I mean, he's got elite, elite hands and he's got elite brain to get open. And so he's calm under pressure. He's got size and reach so he can find the loose pucks. And... Uh, I mean, he obviously understands that's where he scores. So if you score all the goals at the net, why wouldn't you get to the net? And so he gets there, and, and people get him the puck there. So, you know, all you got to do is look at the National Hockey League goals every night where they scored. Very good there. His teammates marvel at his preparation, the stretching, all the different things he does. Has he, do you feel, been a good role model in that way? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, one thing about James, James uh, wants to get better every day, and, and he'll do a lot of things to get better. Now, he tries a lot of stuff. So, you know, which part works, which part doesn't. But if you believe it works, doesn't it work? You know, so to me, what, whatever, I think that's what the best players do, is they find something to work on each and every summer, and they try to get better at it, and they keep trying to improve their craft. And, and that's what he's been able to do. The map is right. You're now in positive goal differential territory for the first time since you took over. Is that another sign that uh, things are turning around? Here? More goals scored than goals against. Is that right? We weren't last year. No. Well, a little bit, but you from the first year you were in a deficit, obviously. And oh, you're saying that we had to overcome our first year. Yes. <laughs> I think I think that was a bit of a plan, though, wasn't it? I think we're supposed to just. Okay. What's next? <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>